of water. Yes. I take a small table to place the. Continue. Continue. I take a small bottle. Yes. Two glasses of water. I place one glass full of water. Yes. Then I take a small table and place one glass that is full of water. Yes. I collect the water so that I can know that the water is passing through the straw. straw. Yes. Then, as this process required both force of gravity and the atmospheric pressure, Yes. As a, at some time, you see both the glasses will have the same amount of water. Yes. Distance. Yes. Continue. The floor is yours. I have finished. Okay. The next presenter, present your videos, please. I have finished. Yeah, I want the next presenter. Who's next? Okay. Yes. I, I used uh, cardboard yeah. and uh, fill the glass to the brim, yes. allowing it not allowing any space for air inside the glass. Yes. Covered, covered the glass, inverted the glass. When it's inverted, the air from outside will y try to penetrate it through the glass. Yes. So instead, it will be pushing the cardboard upwards, making, uh, making the water not to fall from the glass. Yes. Now, I think we can clap to these presenters very heavy claps, very good girls. Clap for them. Now, that's wonderful work. All that we have done, all that we have explained, all the different activities that we have done, they try to explain one similar. Now, in our initial topic, I told you about atmospheric pressure. Somebody to remind me what was the derivation of atmospheric pressure that I said in a previous lesson. Who remembers? Somebody to specifically highlight for me what is atmospheric pressure as per our last lesson. Or as exactly as we were discussing in our Google class, what we had learned the previous lesson. One minute. Say it loud. What is atmosphere? Air surrounding the earth. Air surrounding the earth. Now, I say this air has what? Be loud. The air has weight and the weight has force on an area to exert to the pressure, which is atmospheric pressure. Exactly. Good girl, wonderful. That now, the column of air that is surrounding the earth has weight on the surface of the earth. And that weight is the one causing that pressure because weight and the force, all of them are vector quantity. And the force on any particular area, unit area, result to pressure. Very good. Now, now our activity was... You have given me a summary of what you have done and what you expect or, or, or what were your expectations. You have answered me a question was atmospheric pressure and specifically what your videos were. Now, when I come back, now, when we go back to our hook, which had a problem, we had a girl, Fatima had a problem of the bottle. Now, can somebody now try to answer Fatima, a girl from Mbetayari to Nairobi, why was the bottle misbehaving? Now, that's why I want now to invite Nurat get, tried to explain in writing why she thought 
Fatma's bottle had a problem. Now, Nurat, can you now come up with the answer that you were writing? Now say it loud. Why you thought there was no problem or a problem to our girl who was in our problem? It's your turn. Yes. The, the bottle, the bottle is shrunk. Yes. Or, uh, when we, she went back to Nairobi, yes. the atmospheric pressure was high. Yes. So the bottle expanded. From Repeat it again. When Fatima went to Mombasa, the atmospheric pressure was low, so the bottle while she went back to Nairobi, the atmospheric pressure was high, enabling the bottle to flex okay. back. To Let me try to explain point. what she's saying. Here we are in Mombasa. Mombasa is a, is a lowland. Are we together, girls? Girls, Mombasa is a lowland. When you go to Nairobi, Nairobi is a highland. So, therefore, as you move those places, the place is not level. Mombasa, we are at the, the, at the lowland. Now, that having the case, it means in Mombasa, we have the air on us. The air on top of us. If we have the air on M Mombasa, and the air, let's say this is Nairobi, let me call it Nairobi. And this is Mombasa. Now, in Mombasa, the column of air compared to the column of air in Nairobi, it is small, meaning more weight is exerted in Mombasa than the weight in Nairobi. Therefore, if more weight is exerted in Mombasa, then we mean Mombasa has more pressure compared to Nairobi. If Mombasa has more pressure than Nairobi, if a person is having a bottle here, if you are at Mombasa and you are having a bottle of water, this bottle is pressed so much compared to a bottle here. Therefore, the bottle in Mombasa is having more pressure on it. So when this bottle goes to Nairobi and the pressure reduces, it can swell because the pressure outside is little compared to the pressure that is in Mombasa that is high. So the difference is because of the height. Mombasa, we are at the sea level. Sea level, we are having a lot of air, more air. The column of air is more. And then in Nairobi, it is less. So because of this, the pressure in Nairobi is not the same as the pressure in Mombasa. That's what Nurat is trying to explain. Very good. That was an excellent thinking. Therefore, whenever you go to Nairobi, the pressure will reduce. Girls, this is the same explanation we give when a person is climbing a mountain. You start nose breathing because when you are at the bottom of the mountain, the pressure is high. And then the pressure that is high outside you is equal to the pressure from your body due to the fluid in your body. So your body pressure and the pressure outside, they are balancing. But when you climb a mountain, the pressure outside the mountain is lower than your pressure inside your body. Because of that, the pressure inside will force the blood out because it is more than the pressure outside. That's why some people, mountain climbers, people going for mountaineering, they tend to not bleed whenever they climb a mountain. Girls, that's also the same explanation that is given when a person is boarding an aeroplane. You are told not to eat when it is changing the altitude because when it, the higher you go, the air is rarefied and then the pressure lowers. Therefore, the pressure inside your body will force what you have eaten out. So this explanation are linked direct to
to your videos. Now, when you look at your videos and the explanation I've given, it is in our day-to-day -day life, we have the effect of pressure. Now, anything, is there anything you have ever seen and you taught it is linked to what we are doing? I've given around three examples. Maybe there's some, some uh, kind of uh, phenomenon you have come across and you taught from today's lesson that might be also atmospheric pressure effect. It's your, your flow. The food cooks faster than the food being cooked in Nairobi. This is because in Mombasa there is more pressure and the pressure affects boiling point. Not about temperature, it's about boiling point. A balloon. A balloon? Yes. A balloon after some hours. Yes. A balloon after some hours. It shrinks. It shrinks. That's a good thinking that whenever you inflate a balloon, after some hours, it shrinks. Exactly. That's a, let, let me try to draw a thinking. Survey. Yes, another one? If we take that, uh, you know, that bottle of soda that's for Pepsi, that. Yes. If I, if, um, let's say it's cold. Yes. Yes. When you place it in a cold container, it shrinks. Yeah. That's a very another brilliant idea. Let me explain the two ideas you have. And you have seen guys the way you think like professors. See, I told you, you are the, all of you are the engineers. Let me start with Latifa's idea. Latifa is saying that if you are having a balloon, you have inflated your balloon. After some time, the balloon starts to shrink. Shrinking means it reduces in size. Then we ask ourselves that in just simple language, for this balloon to reduce in size, somebody must have been pressing it. Because there must be a force from out that must be acting on this balloon for it either to for the air to leak away so that it can shrink. And then we are not seeing anybody. This is your balloon that you, are, you, are, you have just hung. If this balloon is just hung, maybe from the roof, and it is alone, why is it shrinking? That's what Latifa is saying. Then there must be some unseen forces which are acting on this balloon to an extent that it shrinks. Now, these forces... The only force we know as per our class is we have atmospheric pressure because this balloon is surrounded by air. And we said air is the one which gives us unseen force from atmospheric pressure. That's a brilliant idea, Latifa. Then we come to another one, who, who, Zinat. Zinat is saying, yes. uh, remind me on, on, on your point you are talking about. What you have just said now? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Oh, about the peps. Oh. Okay. Zinad is saying that, let me hope that's the bottle of Pepsi. That this bottle, if you take this, this place, say this place is some or either hot or warm. And now you take this bottle to a cold place. to a cold place, this will shrink somehow. She's wondering what is the cause of the shrinking? Why must it reduce in size? Here we have a lot of uh, physics. If we go back to 
the topic of force, whereby we were talking about various forces. And also we go back to the behavior of water. Remember when we tackled the topic of abnormal behavior of water, whereby when water gets to ice situation, it expands. Now, can this contradict? Now, Zinad, do you mean the, this peps liquid is cold to an extent it is ice or it is just cold? Before I respond, I want you to clarify before I respond because your question is open. Does it mean a cold or a freezer? A just cold place or in a freezer? Just cold. Just cold, exactly. That now makes it clear. Now, when I come to if the place is just cold, out, when the place is hot, remember, this peps is surrounded by atmospheric pressure. And unless this place is a vacuum, it's also surrounded by atmospheric pressure, meaning the atmospheric pressure in this place and in the other place is equal. Now, but inside, remember we talked, oh, this is a bit, a little bit beyond, we talked about kinetic theory of matter. In this topic, we were told that particles in solid are packed together. In a liquid, the distance, the intermolecular distance is a little bit larger than in solid. However, this intermolecular distance can increase with increase in temperature. Therefore, the particles in a hot liquid are far much far than the particles in a cold liquid. Now, therefore, this case, these particles, they are vibrating if this place is hot. Therefore, the exact pressure against the walls of the peps can, but this peps can is, being, is balancing the force with the pressure outside. When you come to this case, the particles are cold. They are not vibrating. The pressure they are exerting on the walls is less. Therefore, the same atmospheric pressure that was exerted is the same meaning. Now, the force inside has reduced, but the force outside is constant. This will make the can to somehow reduce in size because the pressure from outside is constant, but the pressure inside has reduced because the temperature reduced and the vibration of the particles has gone down. Zinat, yes. are you getting my explanation scientifically what I've said no, I haven't understood. you have not understood I'm saying the first can mm -hmm. the liquid is in a hotter condition therefore the pressure inside and the atmospheric outside they balance each other look at my fingers they are like balancing now, because a hot liquid, the particles are vibrating. As they vibrate, they hit the walls of the container, therefore they exert pressure. When you take this container to a coal, they become, they don't vibrate. They, like, they become dormant, use the word dormant in quotes, they become dormant. They don't force the walls of the container. Now, this will make the pressure that was balancing initially to crush it. It's as if we are pushing, somebody is pushing us into the house. We are pushing, the, we are the two. The person, they are also two. Then one of us goes, I remain one. See, that person can crush us in. Zinat? Yes. That is the scenario. Yes, sir, I'm understood. You have understood? Yes. That is very yes. good. Now, guys, we, we want to To end the lesson but before we end this beautiful lesson I want us to look at this that when we go back to our objective we said we wanted to explain atmospheric pressure and I'm happy he need as divine for us atmospheric pressure that is the weight 
of air that is surrounding us that is causing force and the force on a, on a unit area result to pressure. Then we have seen various effects in our day-to-day -day life that a guard going to Nairobi, the bottle is misbehaving. A person cooking in Mombasa, the, cook, the food cooks faster because of high pressure affecting temperature. We have also seen a person boarding an aeroplane. We have also seen a person climbing a mountain, nose bleeding. You have also told me that if a person is having balloons, after some time they shrink. Those are the effects of atmospheric pressure. You also told me that a can of peps, when you place in a cold place, it shrinks. That is the effect of atmospheric pressure. Our next objective was to explain it. And I'm happy Nurat has tried to explain to us, even I had not seen it until I have drawn, that when pressure, there's a difference in pressure, the effect is so astonishing. That this girl, Fatma, who was going to Nairobi, now she can explain those who are not witchcraft. The water had not expired, but the pressure was different. Now, I want to give you an assignment. That's our homework. This homework, let's assume this is your biro. We are having biro, the one we used to write. It has a small hole. Most biros have a small hole. Also, a, a, a ballpoint. If this biro was made without that hole, will this biro function? In other words, what is the function of this small hole in most ballpoints? I want you to explain and post your answer in the Google Classroom. What is the function of that hole? Now, another explanation, the video that I showed you, you saw a girl drinking a liquid using a bottle. Now, I want you to explain also, why is it possible to drink soda using a straw? Remember, why is it possible to drink soda using a straw? I've given you two activities. One is to explain why a, a biro has a hole. And also, you also explain to me, add, add another question. Hope you are writing down. When a person, this one is also the same as the one we have done. If a person went with a, a biro, a ballpoint in a hive in, with an aeroplane, it starts to leak. Why? But this one will give the same explanation as the person who's bleeding. Try to intertwine the explanation that I gave for a person who's bleeding and a borrow point leaking out. So I want to see these answers in the Google class. So in the Google class, I'm going to write them and give you instructions and the mode of the question. So I want you, you do the questions on a, on a paper, take a photo and upload it in the Google class. In the question, I will replace atmospheric pressure. So write down those questions. Uh, you can take a screenshot of your phone so that you can be able to be having the questions so that next time, in the next five minutes, we are going to answer them in the Google class. So girls, it's time to ask a question. One question, we end the class. He has no question he need? No. He need has no question. Nurat? Nurat? Yes? Atmospheric pressure doesn't exist. Why? What happens if atmospheric pressure doesn't exist? Exactly. Nurad is asking, what would happen if atmospheric pressure did not exist? Let me answer very fast. We have one minute. Remember, as we walk,
the air is already let me use a human being as an example when a human being is walking it's like you are carrying 100 elephants because the air on top of us has a lot of weight if somebody gave you 100 elephants to carry they will crush you now why is atmospheric pressure not crushing us one if it was not it's because the pressure inside our body balances with the pressure outside so that it cannot crush us now if this pressure from outside is able to balance with the pressure inside it means inside our body we have pressure therefore if we get rid of the outside pressure the pressure inside will get the body fluids out all of the time will be no bleeding that's why when you go to a mountain where the atmospheric pressure is less you start nose bleeding that's what they, what we expect when you go to the mountain the oxygen you take has been rarefied that's why the pressure goes down therefore your pressure inside is more actually it is the opposite the effects of what we have we have explained will be the reverse know that if we get rid of atmospheric pressure we start no spreading that's one of the one 